What's up blooms welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i made this nutrient rich moisturizing deep conditioner using ayurvedic ingredients <music> So for this deep conditioner, I'll be using a mix of neem powder, bring raj, moringa powder, and my latest creation, this amla oil. This oil is rich in vitamin C, iron, and other nutrients to help stimulate hair growth. Another component of this deep conditioner is this new hair mask that I picked up from TJ Maxx. It is a plant-based hair mask from New Zealand that is filled with amazing ingredients to give your hair a boost of moisture and shine. Some of the ingredients in here are water, manuka honey, shea butter, and jojoba oil. I ended up using the entire package of their hair mask, then added about a tablespoon of moringa powder, neem powder, and bring raj. Moringa powder is not only beneficial for your body, but has amazing benefits for your hair. It is rich in amino acids, which are building blocks of hair cells. It is also a source of biotin, and according to research, biotin has a direct link in increasing and stimulating hair growth. Neem is a powerhouse ingredient that is full of antifungal properties. And according to Ayurveda, neem is one of the herbs that have been shown to promote hair growth and provide shine. Bringraj powder is packed with stimulating nutrients and proteins that help to improve blood circulation in the scalp which then strengthen hair follicles from the root. It contains nutrients such as iron, vitamin E, magnesium, and vitamin D. Now I'm going in with my amla rose oil. I love adding oils in my deep conditioner. I've been doing it for years and love the result after. This amla rose oil is also filled with other Ayurvedic goodies. Let me know if you'd be interested to see how I made it. So now I'm just combining everything, making sure to incorporate all of the powders, the hair mask, and the oil. I ended up adding a little bit more oil to the mixture just because it was a little too thick. So I was using the oil to thin it out. After combining all of the ingredients, you can add more powders or oil depending on how you like your hair mask. y'all so i've added all of my ayurvedic ingredients to the hair mask and these are the final results it's full of ayurvedic ingredients moisture and slip let me know what you think of it so if you're interested in making your own deep conditioner at home i have a video on my channel showing how i made my own deep conditioner from scratch using ambunu slippery elm and shikakai i also used my diy clove oil in this mixture as well i'll leave a link to both of the videos in the cards if you're interested in checking them out to see the full process from the water phase oil phase and final results let me know which deep conditioner you would try on your next wash day <music> If you've watched my previous video, then you've already seen me use the deep conditioner that I made earlier. This wash day was so moisturizing and I was able to give my scalp and hair much needed TLC after heat styling. <laughs> Stick around for my next video where I styled my hair using this yummy Ayurvedic Shea Bay butter. Y'all have been asking me for the recipe for this butter, so I hope you'll tune in to see how I made it and how I styled my hair afterwards. So that's it for today's video, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the Ayurvedic deep conditioner we made today. But thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.